You may know that this week the House Intelligence Committee was quizzing our nation's security leaders about wiretapping, including Russians and even the president. But what happens if someone does record your conversations? And what does the law say about your rights to record somebody else? A lot of us have talked about this some, at some time or another. So to sort it all out is a lifestyle expert, Sherry O. Thanks so much. Sure. Let's start with exactly what we were just talking about. Right. What's been going on in Washington regarding wiretapping and the laws that apply? So this week we learned that there is some kind of investigation involving uh, the Russians and the presidential election and that there are some individuals that are uh, somehow affiliated with now President Donald Trump that are somehow connected with that investigation. We also learned that there's no evidence that uh, President Obama had former candidate Trump wiretapped in any way. And in fact, the law would not have allowed that. That's because about 50 years ago, Roxanne, Congress passed the um, Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, which we call FISA for short, F-I-S-A. And under FISA, in order for the FBI or Department of Justice to get a warrant to wiretap someone, which is what's legally required, you can't just willy-nilly wiretap someone, uh, for a foreign person, you have to show there's probable cause that they're an agent of a foreign government. For a U.S. person, you have to show there's probable cause that they're involved in a national security crime. So as long as then candidate Trump was not involved in a national security crime, there's no way that a warrant would have been issued. Oh, okay. Well, uh, let's go now to the scenario we were talking about. At one time or another, we've all talked about something right. like, hey, if I could only record this, Well, I and it's will become have... very common, Roxanne, yeah. because we all have a recorder on our iPhones now. So whether you're in an argument with an employer or you're trying to return a dress and the store clerk is arguing, it's very exactly. tempting to just press that button, but you might be breaking some laws and getting yourself in some serious trouble. It depends on where you are. Under the federal law, we have what's called a one-party rule, which means that one of the parties to a conversation has to know that it's being recorded. That can either be you, or if you're not involved in the conversation, it can be one of the people that are involved in an in-person in conversation. Most states follow that same law, but some states, Roxanne, have what's called a two-party law, which means not only two parties, actually, but all parties to the conversation have to know they're being recorded. So very quickly, where are we in Florida on so that? So Florida has a two-party law. Before you turn on that recorder for an employer or a sales clerk or someone like that, you better make sure that everyone knows you're being recorded or you may be committing a serious crime with criminal and civil consequences. Well, that doesn't help anybody if they really want to get somebody's true reaction, though, right? No, but it does protect people's privacy. See. Oh, okay. See, I knew, I knew you would be, that's and why you are some exclusions. <laughs> so if, if they have no reasonable expectation of privacy, if it's an obviously right. a public place, there's an exclusion. If you're taping a okay. police officer in gotcha. the act of his job and you're not interfering, that's an exclusion. Okay. But for the most part, don't mess around with this unless everyone knows you're recording. We knew you would be the logic on all of this. Sure. Thank you for sorting sure. it out and keeping us safe and <laughs> out of trouble. Felicia.